Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advance learning sa inyong mga topics from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, feel free to visit our playlist. Kompleto lahat yon. Okay? Let's get started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 8 students! Sa video na ito ay pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa relation and function weeks 3 to 4 ng inyong mga module. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung weeks 1 to 2, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Okay? The standard form of the equation of the line is ax plus by equals c. To graph the line, you need to find ordered pairs x, y that will satisfy the given equation. So, sa mga nakaraang video naman, ba is napag-aralan na natin ang equation of the line ng first quarter. At kailangan natin ng x and y para mag-graph natin yung line. Hence, there is a relation that exists between these two elements that one may be dependent to the other. The first element, x, of the ordered pair is called the abscissa and the second element, y, is called the ordinate. The set of abscissa is the domain. So, domain ang tawag sa set of abscissa or yung set of x and the set of ordinate is the range. So, sa relation and function, ang tawag doon sa set of x is the domain at yung tawag naman yung set of y is the range. Thus, a relation is a set of ordered pairs. A relation between the domain and range can be presented in different ways. So, pag merong partner or magpartner na ordered pairs na x and y ay tinatawag na relation. Pero pwede nating i-represent ang relation in many different ways. Ang una nga dito ay yung arrow diagram. Ano itong arrow diagram? Through arrow diagram, you can easily determine if it illustrates a relation or function. Ang pinagkaiba ng relation at function Yung relation, pwedeng maulit-ulit yung domain at yung function naman ay hindi pwedeng maulit yung domain. Ibig sabihin, yung function is a relation pero yung function is not a relation kasi sa function hindi pwedeng maulit yung value ng x or yung domain. For example, dito sa arrow diagram, meron tayong domain na name of teacher, si Mr. Cruz. Miss Santos, Miss De Los Reyes, at Mr. Zape. At yung range naman is per month. January, May, tsaka June. As you can see, yung arrow kay Mr. Cruz correspond to May. So, ibig sabihin na ipanganak siya sa month of May. Ganun din si Miss De Los Reyes, May din siya. Si Miss Santos naman corresponds to January. Si Mr. Zape corresponds to June. There are two elements in the domain that corresponds to only one element in the range. Ito o yung si Mr. Cruz na ipanganak sa May at saka si Miss De Los Reyes. Dalawang tao iisang range. And then, the correspondence is many to one kasi dalawa dito sa domain tapos isa lang dito sa range. Kaya, many to one correspondence ang tawag dito. Another example Meron tayong given dito na name of student si Jane corresponds to 15 years old. Si Joy naman is 16 at si James ay 17. Dito, every element in the domain, ito, is paired to only one element in the range. Diba tigi isa sila? Ang tawag naman dito kapag ganitong arrow is 1 to 1 correspondence or 1 to 1 function kasi tigi isa sila ng range or one domain correspond to one range. Kaya ang tawag dito is one to one function. Function siya kasi hindi na uulit yung domain. Another one, si JP, name of head of the family, Nathan, job, 
Romir, si JP ay teacher, si Nathan ay teacher, tapos si Job naman ay engineer at si Romir ay engineer. As you can see, more than one element in the domain is paired to only one element in the range. Diba? Dalawang tao, iisa yung kanilang profession. The correspondence is many to one. Correction lang mga anak, dapat ito ay function. Function siya kasi hindi na uulit yung domain. Hindi na ulit si JP, si Nathan, si Job, at saka si Romir. So, relation siya at the same time, function din siya. Kasi walang nauulit na domain. Tandaan ninyo na lahat ng function ay relation, pero hindi lahat ng relation ay function. Pero kung ito sana yung domain, dalawang beses si teacher at dalawang beses si engineer, relation lang siya, hindi siya function. Okay? So, meron lang sigurong konting error or typographical error dito. Hindi dapat only lang kasi function din yung number 3. Okay? Dito naman sa letter B, ordered pairs, we can represent relation and function as ordered pairs. This is a set of X and Y pair. X is always the first element or the domain and Y is the second element or range. For example, let the domain be set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make set of ordered pairs that set A with a range is twice the domain. Twice the domain daw. So, pag isusulat natin ito as X and Y or ordered pair, yung domain natin is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito yung mga domain, yung mga first element or yung value ng X. At yung range naman daw is twice the domain. Kapag twice the domain, ibig sabihin, multiply natin sa 2 yung domain. So, 1 times 2 equals 2. Yun yung magiging range niya. 2 times 2 equals 4. 3 times 2 equals 6. 4 times 2 equals 8. 5 times 2 equals 10. Nasundan ninyo. And then, sa set B naman, range is 1 more than the domain. Ibig sabihin, mag-add naman tayo ng 1. So, pag 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 yung domain, mag-add lang tayo ng 1 dito sa domain, yun yung magiging range niya. 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 1 equals 3, 3 plus 1 equals 4, 4 plus 1 equals 5, 5 plus 1 equals 6. And then, yung set C naman, range is greater than the domain. Ibig sabihin, mas mataas dapat yung value ng Y or yung nandito sa right side niya. Pwedeng 1, 2, pwede rin 1, 3, pwede 2, 3, 2, 7, 5, 6. Kasi greater than the domain yung range natin. Sa tingin ninyo, alin dito ang function? Yung set A ba ay function at yung set B ba ay function? Tingnan nyo lang kung may naulit sa value ng x. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Walang naulit, di ba? Ibig sabihin, function siya. Dito din sa set B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five. Wala ding naulit na value ng x or walang naulit na absisa, meaning to say function siya. Kahit may naulit sa ordinate niya, function pa rin basta walang mauulit dito sa x or yung absisa niya. How about letter C? So, meron tayong 1, 1. O, naulit na agad yung 1, di ba? And then 2, 2. May naulit na 2, may naulit na 1. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya function, kundi relation lang siya. Set C is a relation. The correspondence is many to many. Nasundan ninyo? Pag may naulit agad na value ng x, hindi na siya function. It is only a relation. Kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina doon sa arrow diagram. Okay? Pwede rin nating i-represent ang relation and function as tables and equations. The relationship between the domain and range can be illustrated using table of values or equation. Example, construct table of values that will illustrate the cost of number of notebooks if the price is 12 pesos. So, paano natin yan gagawing table of values? So, gawa lang kayo ng table. Dito sa taas ay x, dito naman sa baba ay yung value ng y. Let x be the number of notebook and y 
the cost of the notebooks. Di ba yung isang notebook daw ay 12 pesos? Pag gagawa tayo ng table, gawa lang kayo ng table. Yung nasa taas is X, yung nasa baba naman ay Y. Kapag isang notebook ay 12 pesos, di ba? Ibig sabihin, pag dalawang notebook, 24 pesos. Pag tatlo, 36. Pag apat, 48. Ibig sabihin, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, yung domain natin or yung input natin is yung X. At yung value naman ng y, that is 12x. Kasi kung ano yung magiging value ng x, multiply mo lang sa 12 pesos. Meaning, ang equation natin is y equals 12x. The total cost is dependent to the number of notebooks. The dependent variable is y. And the independent variable is x. You can get the total cost of the notebook or y if you supply the number of notebook or x. Kapag gagamitin natin yung equation na to, halimbawa, pagdadagdagan natin ng 10 na notebook, ano yung magiging price niya? That is 12 times 10, and that would be equal to 120. Nasundan ninyo? Pwede rin natin represent ang relation or function as a graph. True graphs. You can graph by plotting the points on the rectangular coordinate plane, you can take the points from the set of ordered pairs, table of values, or equation, or vice versa. So, pwede ninyong i-plot ang functions and relations gamit ang set of ordered pairs, table of values, or equation. For example, sa set A natin kanina, diba, meron tayong 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8, 5, 10. Kapag i-graph natin to, kagawa lang tayo ng Cartesian plane, then yung Una is positive 1, positive 2. So, nandito yon, And then, positive 2, positive 4. Positive 3, positive 6. Positive 4, positive 8. At positive 5, positive 10. Kung hindi nyo pakabisado ang magplat ng points sa Cartesian plane, i-review nyo lang meron tayong video sa first quarter. Hanapin nyo lang sa playlist natin. Similarly, you can derive set of ordered pairs table of values from the graph. Galing dito, pwede natin gawing table of values. Okay? Ang magiging domain natin is yung value ng x. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At yung range naman natin is yung nandito sa y-axis. That is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And of course, pwede natin gawing equation from the table of values or from the graph. As you can see, merong pattern, di ba? 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2. Kaya 2x ang ating equation or y equals 2x. Alright? And vice versa, from equation, pwede natin gawing table of values at graph by assigning value of x. So, pag mag-assign ka ng values, yung magiging answer, yun yung magiging range mo. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung learning task ninyo, i-click nyo na lang dito sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright? Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!